Hey everybody, welcome back, trailer reaction time, and today I've got a blind trailer. I'm going in blind, I don't know anything about this. Today we're here to watch trailer number one for Most Likely to Succeed. And this comes of course from Movie Clips Indie, so this should be an indie film. I think it might even be a documentary, judging by the thumbnail. Not entirely sure, but I like documentaries, so we'll check it out. If you want to see this trailer without me in the way, there is a link in the description below, or something's popping up right about now, you can click on that, check it out, come on back, watch me watch this, and then we'll geek out over it together, should it be geek out worthy. You can also get more movie reactions, more movie reviews, more movie madness, faster than I can get it to YouTube by checking out the Stardust app for 30 second reviews and things like that. Or you can check out my Patreon where I do all kinds of movie reviews, old, new, everything in between, video game let's plays, fan movie commentaries, and a whole bunch more. And a lot of it's even free. You can find either of those by looking up the Eric Butts or using the links in the description below. That said, this is a blind trailer. I know nothing about it and have nothing to say about it until I know something. So I'm going to shut up and let's watch. I'm ranked fifth in my class and got a perfect score on my SATs. I got scholarship awards and honor roll awards. Vice President of the National Honor Society, President of the debate team. I like studying science and history, and I'm also the class treasurer. Oh, this could be awesome. Ten years from now, where do you see yourself? Ten years from now, I'm hopefully going to be some kind of professor. First person in my family to go to college. So it just makes me want to do even better. I would love, honestly, to be, to travel around the world. I want to be able to go to school so I can get a career. All right, here's my room. Once you close the curtain, it's a hallway. <laughs> One of the things when you have them, you will be officially an adult. One of hers is a Roomba. I have credit cards now. <laughs> I have my own insurance. I don't have a Roomba. <laughs> Growing up in Detroit was actually kind of rough. This is from Kylie. I got it on our one year anniversary. We basically attached at the hip. Some days I'm overwhelmed. Title of signing agent services, this is Charles. But then there's those days and it's just like, I love what I do. My parents are pastors. I grew up going to church every Sunday. I don't want to be a Christian because my parents are pastors. I want to be a Christian because I know why I believe what I believe. I think my mama and my daddy grew up together. But I don't know, I don't be asking. I'm finally in a relationship where I say I'm like completely happy. This is what love's supposed to feel like. That's I just feel crazy. like kind of, I guess, kind of stupid too. I'm like, I gave up everything. I'm really not sure how my future is going to work out. I do not pronounce you married. Success for me is inextricably linked to being challenged. Success is a life where I'm surrounded by people who I love and people who love me. Okay, that has a lot of potential to be great. I love stuff like this. If they really like followed their entire 10 years, I mean, I guess it could be interesting if it's just 10 years ago and then 10 years later, but I would like to see the growth of those four char uh, four characters, those four people, well, technically they're characters, those four people across the 10 years. And if they do that especially, then I'll be very excited for this. But just the idea of taking four different people from four different walks of life with four different interests who are all voted most likely to succeed and then finding out what happens 10 years later, that's really cool. So uh, that looks great. That looks really well made. The char the people look very charming. One dude had his Funko Pops there. I saw Yo he had a Darth Vader, I think, coffee mug too but he had the yoda funko pop which is relevant right now and he also had the uh the uh, john snow funko pop which i just watched a trailer with kit harrington in it so i don't know just random little fun bits for me that make me enjoy it more but that looks really good i'm looking forward to hearing about what you think about it now and if you've got other documentaries like this that you might want to suggest let me know maybe i'll check them out maybe i'll review them on patreon i don't know but let me hear your thoughts definitely geek out with me in the comments i'd love to hear what you have to say other than that, you can check out the Stardust app and or my Patreon and look up The Eric Butts or use the links in the description below. And you can click that thumbs up button, give me the good old thumb of encouragement as I do love to be encouraged. But now I'm going to get out of here so I can go watch some more stuff and I'll see you all later.